Howdy everybody and welcome back to more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee! In the last episode... Ooh, there's a gold bat here. And no, trainer! <laughs> in the last episode, we made our way through two routes, kind of just grinded a bunch of trainers, did a bit of training, uh, and we went about halfway through Rock Tunnel. Uh, in this episode, we're hopefully gonna finish Rock Tunnel and make our way to Lavender Town. Lavender Town's gonna be a very fun... Uh, gonna be a very fun... Fun place. <laughs> I say, <laughs> not at all enthusiastically, because my God, Lavender Town to this day still creeps me out. Uh, first, Rock Tunnel. I did see a Golbat, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch that real quick. Uh, just, just because I, I I've been re trying really hard to fill out this Pokedex, but as always, I, I kind of just cut out the the wild Pokemon encounters. Ah, Onyx. <laughs> Well, that gold bat actually ran away from me. Nice! And I was using great balls too, but for some reason I just wasn't able to catch it. Like, it had a yellow circle, I used raspberries, I was using great balls! For some reason it just didn't want to work for me, so... Unfortunately, I couldn't catch that gold bat. Maybe I'll run into another, maybe I won't... I'm not gonna dwell on it. Um... Same with that onyx, actually. I, that onyx I ran into before I encountered the gold bat. Same thing. Uh, just wouldn't take my Great Balls for some reason. Um, as great as Great Balls are, they're they're still not nearly as guaranteed. Like, the odds are definitely better than normal Pokeballs, but Great Balls aren't nearly as effective in this game either. It's, uh... It's I, I kind of have... Uh, I don't know if it's mixed feelings or just conflicting feelings, because... Because... I, I definitely don't mind the 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 caching in this game but it's it definitely feels like the catch rates are much lower than normal pokemon games i don't i don't know it's really weird uh, i'm just so surprised with how like often captures fail in this game and i don't know it could just be me maybe i'm doing something wrong or i i am not getting not getting nearly as many excellence as i hope uh i don't know i'm not I should just practice the excellence some more, because it probably definitely could have better odds if I go for those those excellence. I'm okay at getting greats and nices, but I definitely need to start practicing up on getting those excellence if I really want to just catch Pokemon. Come on, War Turtle, I believe in you. Run and tackle. There we go. I'm happy that it, that the sand slash didn't use a dig again. <laughs> and uh, my Pokemon are looking pretty weak, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause real quick after this battle and and kind of heal up. I should I should probably heal up. All right, healed up, and I used some TMs because I kind of forgot to do it off camera, like I said I was gonna do. But I went ahead and taught a bunch of different moves to to my my Pokemon. So now, we got much better movesets. I didn't swap around my party, which I really should've. Uh, if this guy got multiple Pokemon, I'll switch around. But I definitely want to put my Ivysaur up front. Especially in this area, but they seem, there seem to be a lot of Rock-type users. I say as my opponent throws out a Machop. <laughs> but there seem to be enough to justify having uh, Ivysaur up front. And again, I don't want Eevee hogging all the, all the battles. So after this, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put Ivysaur up front. Alright, sweet. And who's your next one? Rhyhorn, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Ivysaur. This Ivysaur will do well. The boy, boy. Here we go. Go ahead and Vine Whip. Hoping this KOs. Ooh, it does not. Just, just slightly off. Go ahead and Vine Whip again. There we go. Hundred DXP. I give. 
Let me go ahead and put Ivysaur up front real quick. And I don't think I'll need to edit this out. It's gonna be really, really quick. Um, I guess one of the downsides to not using the Joy-Con is, is you can't use the shortcut to press the R button to, whoa, hey Onyx, you can't use the R button as a shortcut to, to move Pokemon quickly, I guess, which I wasn't really using it that much to begin with, but now that I know it's not an option to me anymore, I kind of wish I had it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a silly thing. And, oh my gosh, this guy's setting out an Ivy store. As soon as I put my own Ivy store up front. Wow, how how ironic. Um, well, not ironic, but how poorly timed. I'm gonna go ahead and put Charmeleon up front then, if that's the case, because I don't want to deal with the, the the Ivy store mirror match. Though I should prepare for it. Granted, what happens in the in the post game, uh, I won't talk about what happens in the post game in case people still don't know and they're avoiding spoilers, but. Let's just say, in the post-game, mirror matches are apparently a thing, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. But that's not until after the Elite Four, so we'll we'll get to that another time. Right, let's finish this battle off with another Ember. Sweet. There we go. All right, all of my Pokémon starting to get close to the 30s. I think this means I'm gonna I'm gonna have like a Charizard, a Venus. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over that phase. Every time I see that phase, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna break out into like laughter. But uh, yeah, all my Pokémon are starting to get close to level 30. So I guess this means I'm gonna have a Venusaur, Charizard, and Ivysaur soon, or not Ivysaur, a uh, Blastoise soon. Um, that's gonna be crazy. Come to me. <laughs> she couldn't move forward because there's a Graveler in her way. <laughs> that's, that's a funny detail. I when, when I saw the Graveler there and I decided to walk towards this trainer, I was like, oh, I kind of want to get there quick because I kind of want to see how this turns out. I want to see what's going to happen. If it will, will the trainer like clip through the Graveler? Ha 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 ha, that would be funny. But no, they kind of just stopped in their tracks and were like, all right, I guess this is happening. That's That's... Interesting that they accounted for that, and man, like... At, w when I decide to put Ivysaur up front, that's when they decide to, like, s cut it cut it with the rock and ground types, and now we're gonna throw in the grass and fire types, and, and my decision to put Ivysaur up front is not looking so hot right now. <laughs> Good EXP. Send out Kadabra. Ooh, do I have any Pokemon with Dark type moves? Does Arcanine know Bite or something? He does. I'm gonna switch to Arcanine. Arcanine knows Bite. All right, go on, Arcanine. Kadabra. Yo, I would love to have an Alakazam on my team. Now that I think about it, I think I would love to have an Alakazam on my team. But at the same time. You can't get an Alakazam unless you trade with someone, right? I'm, I'll put, I mean, I have friends that play this game. I could probably reach out to someone and be like, Hey, uh, trade trade me so we could get an Alakazam and stuff. But, oh man. I did catch an Abra a while back. It was, it was off camera. And I didn't... I didn't want to risk losing the Abra by pausing and, tur and turning on, like, my recording or anything. So I definitely just have it... I just, I just caught it, like, while I was playing offline. Uh, agility, ooh. Uh... Nah, we're good. I don't need a lot of agility. But yeah, I would love to... I'd love to have an Alakazam on my team. I don't know if I, I'll actually go for it, but I, an Alakazam on my team would be pretty awesome. Ultra Balls! <gasps> we got Ultra Balls now! Hey! Nice! Nice! I like that. Um... Let's see here. Oh, we could go down or we could go up. I believe up is a dead end and just leads to more items. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up after I catch the Golbat. Okay, caught the Golbat that time. Now I got now I got that in my Pokedex. Uh, I do feel like it's gonna be important later down the line to have uh, more Pokemon registered to your Pokedex. So I'm definitely gonna be making an effort 
to to be capturing all these Pokemon. I'm not gonna show it anymore. I did, I know originally at the beginning of this Let's Play, I was like, I wanted to show the first encounter of every Pokemon I see, but then I started editing editing these episodes, and I realized, wow, that is a lot of time <laughs> that that shows up in the episodes, which. Is it a bad thing? But at the same time, like I said in a previous episode, I do want to like start making more progress, more headway in, in, in how much progress we're making in this game. So I'm probably going to just be cutting out the wild battles from here on out, unless unless it's a really important wild battle like that Onyx earlier. That was important to me. That Onyx wild encounter was very important to me after everything that happened in episode five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but other than that, I mean, obviously I'll show, like, legendary battles or other, like, important wild encounters. We'll, we'll see when we, when we come across them. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch, because Bulbasaur is looking pretty low on HP. Let's go ahead and send out Pikachu. Because, you know, why not? I could easily send out Eevee to clean, to do cleanup, but... I do want I do want to like see my other Pokemon in action. Right, let's go ahead and use Thunderbolt. Hey, okay. not quite knocking it out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and Quick Attack next. Or I I'm like I should I usually use Headbutt because I did teach Pikachu Headbutt and I feel like Headbutt would have finished it. It's in a bit of pinch. It looks like it might cry. No. Don't cry, Pikachu. It's okay, you'll finish it with your quick attack. Probably. Alright, sweet. <laughs> because you got KO'd, I would have been very upset. There we go. Sweet. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna head up a bit where that Onyx is, because I feel like... There is an item there we could get. Or, or this Onyx could just completely be blocking the path? Is that a thing? Is this a thing? That's a thing! Oh my gosh, that's a thing! I cannot get past that- I can't get past that Onyx. I don't need you. I'm gonna run away. Yes, run away, please. Alright, cool, cool. Though I do feel like there's an item up here, so I'm gonna pay attention to Eevee's tail. See if anything's here. No? Oh, no, no, it's just a dead end. Alright. Uh, there goes my suspicions. But there is one more item down here. We gotta get past an Ace Trainer first. Even on a mountain like this, an ace trainer like me exists. Show me what y'all made of. Ace trainer Charlie. Diglett, okay. Um, I do... I, I'm surprised my Ivysaur hasn't learned Absorb or Mega Drain or Giga Drain yet. I don't know if... I, I don't quite remember if, if the Ivysaur or Venusaur line can learn it through leveling up, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I kind of wish I, I, I definitely wish I had something like that right now. But uh, since my next move's gonna miss anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and super potion. Yeah, super potion would be good. I'll be fully healed. Yeah, I'll be fully healed. Sweet. All right, take this dig. It's gonna hurt, but not too bad. Let's go ahead and Vine Whip. No, <laughs> Don't do me like this, come on! Alright, uh, I'll go ahead and Vine Whip this time. It should hit because the Diglett's going first. Oh, that was a critical hit too. There we go. Smack! <laughs> I love the animation of that Vine Whip so much. It's like such a satisfying whip. Combined, combined with the Pokeball Plus. Again, don't know if my... Not 100% sure if my microphone's picking it up consistently, but such a satisfying sound. We're gonna go to War Turtle now. So they are sending out a Flareon, I'm surprised to see. It's the first evolution we're seeing in the game. Which, now that I mention it, I wonder how we're gonna get evolutions, because I'm pretty sure our partner Pokemon is unable to evolve. So that means I'm gonna have to find Eevees out there if I really want to get a Flareon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon. Oh boy. Let's use Water Gun! We're not doing that much damage. We are like an even level, I guess. Uh, I'll try Scald. See how much Scald does. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was good. Alright, now... Uh, let's just finish it with a headbutt. Why not? There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that item. Let's go ahead and grab that item and move move on forward. I think, I believe we should be reaching the end of Rock Tunnel soon. I don't remember it being any any bigger than than what we've seen already, but you never know. Um, it I've said it countless times. It has been like a very long time since I've played a Generation One game, so I could totally just be misjudging this altogether. Yeah, it does look like we have another room, and oh, Ivysaur seems happy. Oh, that's adorable. All right, there, there are more trainers here, so I'm gonna go ahead and rush through these as quickly as possible. Need arena. All right, this one, I'll go ahead and just headbutt, since headbutt probably seems to be my most effective move since Need Arena is a poison type. Poison Sting, Ugh. I don't think that'll do much. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot of damage, that's good. Flinched, yes! I like this. I like these trades. They're in my favor. Headbutt! There we go. All right, level 28 now. I'm gonna. I'm, all, I'm only four levels away from getting a Venusaur. I, I love that. Sweet. Let's head on battle this guy. Ooh, there's a Pokeball there. Should probably try to grab that. Let's see if I could just get away with Headbutt again. <laughs> no, I didn't mean Leech Seed! Can you be Leech Seed? I guess you can. Uh, I mean, I guess this is a good chance to get some HP back. Again, that thing I was saying earlier about the Pokeball Plus being a little awkward when you press down the, the joystick, I always accidentally hit the direction when I don't mean to. Headbutt. It does look like I'm gaining eight more HP back than I am losing it, which is good. The trades are in my favor. Yeah, this is great. Let's go ahead and headbutt again. Just slowly whittle away at this guy's health. Get a little more HP back. And there we go. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to be able to 31 HP, right? Yeah, <laughs> I kind of expected as much, but it's fine. Uh, we are coming close to the end, I believe. We should be. I don't know, I don't want to jinx anything. Cool, super potion. Should probably use that, though I do feel like we are coming close to the end. I'm going to try to dodge these guys here because I don't really have a huge desire to catch them right now. Back Stardust. Let's see. Another trainer battle. All right, couple more of these. Picnicker Donna. Probably gonna stick to the headbutt strategy again. Well, actually, no, I could go for a Vine Whip this time, I guess. Vine Whip isn't incredibly strong, so I'll 
Yeah, well, Headbutt's doing fine. It is. I am running low on power points, though, so I'm probably gonna have to s resort to Vine Whip soon. Or I could just switch entirely, now that Meowth's KO'd. Speed points. So I'm not Vulpix. Alright, I assume it's a Kanto Vulpix. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to... Let's go Eevee. <laughs> Pun not intended. <laughs> that is the name of the game, let's go Eevee, but no, let's go Eevee. <laughs> All my Pokémon are pretty weak right now. Uh, I'm gonna- I'm probably gonna go ahead and use potions, but again, I feel like we're close to the end of this tunnel anyway. So I have no real huge desire to use potions right now. There we go. That's it, I knew you could do it! I'm out of Pokémon! How much more of this cave is left? There's a sign here, which I guess indicates that the exit's up ahead. Rock Tunnel, Cerulean City, Lavender Town. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh... Found a pearl. Interesting that they put the sign up here when we already figured that's what this is. This is supposed to be the exit, right? Or I guess this is... I guess they're putting it here as like, a sign for the entrance, but okay. We made it through Rock Tunnel. Uh, now we gotta f we have the rest of Route 10 to go through, I believe? Um, ooh, bunch of trainers that we could battle. Ooh, a bunch of trainers we can battle. I'm gonna go ahead and battle all these trainers. I'm gonna speed through it all, uh, and come back when we get to Lavender Town. Cleared up that route, and here we are in Lavender Town. Hello, that's a Cubone. What's a Cubone doing here? Excuse me? Hi, Cubone, just running off. Spark! Just running after the Cubone now, huh? Oh god, there's Pokemon Tower. And this music. Oh my god, this music. <laughs> Don't go disturbing things in the Pokemon Tower. I won't. I'm gonna go ahead and explore the rest of Lavender Town, or all of Lavender Town in this episode. There's talk about ghosts appearing lately in the Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon kidnapped by Team Rocket and never seen again. Ugh, ugh that's terrifying. <laughs> Just being here gives me the chills because it's Lavender Town. <laughs> that's odd, Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? I don't know. And with the grand prize drawing given up by the Pokemon fan, the application form is gone. It's already been clipped out. All right, whatever. I wasn't that interested anyway. <laughs> this place is actually Mr. Fuji's home. He's really kind. He looks after Pokemon that have been abandoned or orphaned. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember that is the that is a thing he did. He looked after the. I guess he's he's the one that looks after that Cubone. Uh. The sound is famous for all the graves made here for Pokemon. They hold memorial service in the Pokemon Tower for Pokemon that have passed away. Oh. Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> I remember this. No. <laughs> that white hand on your shoulder. I'm just imagining it. Oh my god, that's so creepy. See, the smell of incense is so refreshing. What's up, old man? Be sure to name your Pokémon with love when you give them a new name. After all, nobody wants to have a silly name. I think this is the original house of the Name Raider. I'm not 100% sure, but... Now that... Now that we could just name our Pokémon whenever we want from the menu, I guess that guy's out of business. <laughs> this poor guy. Uh, what's up, girl? I can't ever forgive Team Rocket. Right now, we're taking care of a Cubone whose mother, Marak, was... She was caught by Team Rocket, and that was it. We never saw her again. Ooh... Okay, um, last I checked, wasn't the ghost supposed to be like the spirit of a Marowak? Did they change that? They couldn't have changed that. 
I guess we'll see when we when we get when we get over there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna heal real quick, so I'll be right back. Oh, hello. This girl wants to trade a Diglett for for an Alolan Diglett. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and accept this trade. Let's see what I want to get rid. I want to get rid of the level 13 one. It is our lowest one. Um, I already healed my Pokemon. Uh, I'm just here like talking to the people in the Pokemon Center, and I found this lady who wants to trade Diglett. For 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 an Alolan Diglett, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There it is, Alolan Diglett. I'm gonna. I can't wait till we find a trainer looking for Vulpix because I definitely want an Alolan Vulpix on my team. That would be awesome. Oh, it's true. It looks so smooth. Thank you so much. Let's trade again, okay? Sure. I do think. I do assume that means. Yeah, that means you could get as many Alolan Diglett as you want, as long as you have more Diglett to trade with. Okay, I'm fully healed, but this episode has been going on for a while, and oh, hey, what's up, Ivysaur? Did you find something? Hello. Your sounds like dropped in the flower bed. Pretty wing, aww. Alright, well, yeah, this episode has been going on for a while. Uh... I think this is a good place to end. Before we go into Pokemon Center, we have made it through Lavender Town. We've we've looked around the place. We've most pretty much talked to every, everyone. Um, so I think this is a good place to end. So next time on Pokemon, let's go, Eevee. We are going to venture through <laughs> Pokemon Tower. Can't wait to see what changes they've made to it. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna be really uh. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, but also not because in the original games, this place has always given me the creeps, and I can't imagine the HD remaster or remake of this area is gonna be any less on the creepy side, so I'll see you guys then.